Welcome to Guild Codes Development, Episode 2 of Discord.js Bot Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make moderation commands. These commands include ban, kick, mute, timeout, unban, and unmute. So, the first thing that you're going to do is open up your files in Visual Studio Code as I showed you in episode 1. Now you're gonna go to the commands folder you're gonna make sure you're on the commands folder then you're gonna hit new folder and then you're gonna call them moderation. Hit enter. Now in this moderation folder you're gonna create a couple files. One is gonna be called band.js another is gonna be called kick.js another is gonna be mute.js another is going to be called timeout.js another is going to be unban.js and then another is going to be unmute.js so what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this txt file called the command starter you're just going to copy everything into these things and all of these things now make sure you so make sure you name these appropriately on mute and then we're gonna say unmute un a user and then what we're gonna do is that we're going to do a console this is just so it saves console log muted make sure you save that and then for ban well this is unbanned so unban and then unban Co copy the console log so what the console log does is that it puts something in your console log so So right now I'm just labeling these and then you have to have a console log so it saves properly. And this one is mute. So mute and timeout do the same thing but they do different things in reality. Kick. So kick. kick and then kick so once we do this we'll be able to get started bam 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 get our c index that's, that's the command starter so we're gonna open up our our, we're going to start by doing our timeout command. So what we can do is we're going to do a couple of things. So we're going to add a user option that we want to timeout. So we're going to do dot, dot add then look for user option. You're going to open it up, and then you're going to do a option, and then an equals function. Then you do option dot set name, and then you could call this, whatever. I'm going to call it user, and then you could do a set description. You could open this up, then you could call it user to timeout then we're going to require it to set required equals true and then now that we have this what we're literally going to we're literally going to do is just going to copy this two times 
and then but for these ones we're going to do a add string option then a add integer option so string option we're going to call this one reason and this is going to be the reason to timeout and then for the integer we're going to call it length and then this is going to be length length to timeout now once we're here we're going to so once the command is operated we need to const the options and then we need to call it interaction and then we need to const our guild equals interaction dot guild and then what we need to do is that we need to define what our, our reason is the person and the length so I'm gonna const the the user but I'm gonna call them subject equals guild dot members dot cash dot get and we're gonna open it up and do interaction dot options dot get user and then we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna do user then outside the brackets we're gonna do dot id put a thing there then we're gonna for a reason we're gonna do const reason equals options dot get string and then we're gonna open it up and then call it length and then we're gonna close it up and we're gonna do const um actually no this is um reason then const length equals options dot get integer open it up and then we can call this length then we're gonna close it now what we need to do is we need to get our current unix time so we're gonna do const current unix time equals math dot floor open it up and then do a date dot now function then you're gonna divide it by 1000 and that gets the current unix time now what we're also gonna do is do a const channel equals guild dot channels dot cash dot get we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna call this actions chid we'll get back to that in a second and then what we're also gonna do is that we need to define who we are allowed to time out and then who is allowed to time out and then if we are if if the person that's doing the command is allowed to time out who are they not allowed to time out so what we're going to do is that we're going to do const allowed allowed roles equals we're going to open it up in square brackets then we're going to call this for my example directors rd bot dev rd and then staff rd and then we're gonna do const not actionable equals directors rd and then what we're gonna do is pause right here so what we need to do is that we need to go into our index we're going to need to go into our config.json in just a second alrighty so now that we're in our config.json I currently um, removed my token for privacy for security reasons but what we need to do is do this we need to um, do directors ID bot dev ID and then staff RID we need to copy these I'm gonna paste them I'm gonna open this up and then do that. This up, this up, 
command this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and then do that. Now what we need to do is undo this, this, and then that, and then open it up again, put an L, L. These are just placeholders right now. Do that, do that, and then like that. Now what we need to do is go to Discord, to our tutorial server, and then we need to go get the role IDs of the roles that we want to allow. So for director's role ID, I'm just going to copy it and then paste it. For bot dev role ID, I'm going to I'm going to copy it and paste it. And then for staff role, I'm going to copy and paste it in there. Now we're going to save this and then also what we need to do is put that back do that and then we also need to do audit no actions actions log chid i believe it is let's double check action yeah and then we need to do that open it up and then do this that and then inside and inside of this, we need to get where we want it, where we want the records to go. I want it to go into actions. So we're just going to put that there and then save that. Then we can go back to our timeout. Now, once we're back in our timeout, we're going to do some magic. So we're going to give ourselves some space. So then, we're, then this is so if the user has any of the allowed roles then it will do another check to see if the the user that is being subject to be timed out if that is the case then it will not allow it else it will time them out so what we're going to do is if allowed roles dot sum we're going to open it up and then do role arrow function subject subject dot nope nope I went too far so we're going to do role then we're going to do interaction dot member dot roles dot cash dot has and then we're going to open it up into role then if that is the case then we're going to continue down then we're going to do another if statement if not actionable dot sum then we're going to open it up again and do role arrow function subject dot roles dot cash dot has and then we're going to do role then we're going to open it up, and then and if this is the case, then we're going to do a interaction dot reply. Open it up, open it up. We're going to do a content. Then we're going to do a. You are not permitted to time out this user. Then we're going to do a comma e p h e m e. RL, and then we're going to do true. That just allows it as a hidden message. Then, if it's not the actionable, we're going to do an else. Then, we're going to do a const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to do a set description. Open it up, put them back ticks, and we're going to do that. And then, we're going to do two hashtags. We're going to call it user timed out and then what we're going to do is put two more hashtags then we're going to do this a couple of things we're going to do user reason and then length then we're going to do some lines which I'm just going to copy Then we're going to do justice, 
put in date slash time equals that. And then make sure that they're all stars. Now we can go line by line. So what we can do is do the subject, the reason, and then we could do the length. Then for justice, we're going to do this, interaction.user. And then for the current Unix time, what we're going to do is that, 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 and then current Unix time, then we're going to close it up. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to set a color to be 0048, is that's my color. Then we're going to do a set thumbnail. And then I'm just going to copy what I want it to be. Then after that, now once the embed is set, we're going to do a sub subject dot dot timeout then we're gonna do the um, length times 60 times 1 zero, zero, 0 then we're gonna do a comma for the reason then we're gonna do a channel dot send space space embeds open bracket embed space space now we're going to do the interaction dot reply content equals equals subject has been timed out then you're going to do a comma e p h e m e and then we're going to set that to true and then now once that's done, we're going to leave that as if, but we're going to go back to here, and then see where that ends, and then we're going to do an else on that, then we're just going to do a interaction dot reply, content, and then we're going to do, you are not permitted to use this command. Then we're going to do a EPHEME and then set that to true. So what we just did was we got the options set. We have all of our stuff set to get it and the channels allowed rows and stuff. And then one thing I forgot to do is this. We need to do a up here const. We're going to open it up and then we're going to do the directors already bot dev already staff already then action chid then we're gonna do equals require we're gonna open it up do this then we're gonna do dot dot slash dot dot slash and then we're gonna look for config.json then we're gonna end up now, as you'll see, everything says import on the director's ID. Now, that's set like that. Now, if we save this, and I put my token back, so hold on. So now that I'm back, if I go to my, if I go to my saver, and then if I do, Actually, I need to start the bot for this. Okay, so if I do slash timeout, let me pull up my alt so you can see this. Then you'll see that it works wonders. Tutorial server. Gonna do a dot. Let's say that dot was wrong, so we could do a slash timeout then we could do a user we're going to call them guild code and then the reason is going to be testing and then the length so the length to timeout this is one minute so if i do enter a one and hit enter so the user has been timed out for one minute then as you'll see 
I forgot something, so that's an easy fix. So all I have to do is this. User timed out one minute. So one minute. And then we can go to length of timeout. Minutes. So that should fix that issue. And now when that's like that, and then it's over, if you look at a console log, it'll just say that timeout was executed by me because that's how I have it set up at the moment. Now as you'll see in about 4 seconds, now once it's done timed out, that it works. Then I could type again. So that's like a temporary mute, but if you wanted more of a definite mute, you can decide to go go with the option of you can go with the option of doing with a mute so with a mute you can primarily mute somebody so this one's easy so all we have to do is we have to go in here and then get our muted roll ID so muted right here so with this muted roll you would normally have the roll set up during when the server set up so when you don't have to do channel by channel you could do category by category and then it just mutes them in every single um thing now with that out the way you have to have it as the highest roll so it actually mutes them so now that i have the user id the role id copied i can come to my config.json and then hold on and then you'll add it to the config.json just like the other stuff and make sure you call it just muted rid Alrighty, so it's successfully in my config. So what I'm going to do is copy what we just built in timeout. Then I'm going to place it in the mute. And then just rename everything. Mute a user. And then timeout. Mute. Reason to mute. And then length to mute. And then length is not necessary right now so we're going to get rid of that and then length right there so user to mute and then all we got to do is get rid of length down here and then what we're going to do allowed roles is that but instead of subject at timeout we're going to do subject dot roles and then Yes, subject dot roles dot add. Then we're gonna type in what I just const it to be. So hold on. Subject dot roles dot add muted rid. So we also need to require that from my config. So we're gonna add it up there. And then all it does that is this. And then now they are muted. You're not permitted permitted to mute this user. And then literally all it does is the same thing. Now if we save that and then restart the bot you will see that if I pull up my alt account and make sure that the bot started, which it did, if I go into lounge and then do slash mute user guild code reason testing, you will see that guild code has been muted. So if I went to the community tab, did edit permissions, and then did a mute, muted, and then just said can't send messages you'll see that they are no longer allowed to send messages in any of those 
uh, any channels at this rate because of how I had the previous setup and then you'll see in action logs that they'll say user timed out which we could fix easily so oh, we need to go to const embed and then we just say this user muted and then that fixes that so if I save that and then restart the bot so actually while I'm at it I'm going to show you how to build the unmute command so what we're going to do is copy this the mute command into unmute and then make sure that we undo that and then unmute user to unmute user unmute and then da -da 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 -da. make sure to just change everything to unmuted that way it makes sense save it and then what we're gonna do is then restart the bot which has already been killed make sure it starts up good and it did so we're gonna do unmute user guild code unmuted so it, it may have looked like I sent it in the message but I'm in the action spot then as you see I forgot to do something so we need to go to subject dot roles dot add dot remove and then we need to save that and then restart the bot and then we need to do unmute again guild code testing then as you'll see I'm now allowed to text then if I do mute and then guild code one two three four five six uh, you'll see that I'm muted and then unmute again unmuted guild code one two three four five six okay so that's timeout muted and unmuted now if you want to keep going with this then pop on over to um, Visual Studio Code you'll notice a cut in the video because I had to cut something out while looking at Discord so just so y'all are aware okay, so now that we have the unmute timeout and mute commands done what we need to do now just focus on the kick commands and the kick commands are basically the same thing um, it's pretty much the same thing so what we're gonna do is copy the timeout command and then do put it in kick commands and just make sure to name it kick and then kick and then kick and then kick get rid of the reason I mean get rid of the length get rid of the length and then get rid of the length and then make sure to change everything to kick kicked kicked and now all we have to do here is this all we have to do is this. So we need to do this. So what we're going to do is is we're going to const embed equals new embed builder we're going to copy this and then we're going to go down underneath it we're going to paste it then we're going to hit enter now we're just going to name it embed2 now we're going to name the user kick subject reason but down here we're going to call it 
we don't want the justice. We want date and time, then we want to put server, and then whatever your server name is, development, and then now all we have to do is do a await subject dot send, open it up, open it up, do two spaces, then we're going to do embeds. You're going to do, and then inside we're going to do embed2, and then two spaces after. And now, uh, now once that's done, we're going to kick them with the reason. So kick reason. We're going to channel, then we're going to do the interaction.reply kick. And then that's all you needed to do here for kick. Now, if you'll see, if you restart the bot, and then open up your discords again, if I come into the lounge, and then do slash kick, and then guild code, and then testing, enter. So it says guild code has been kicked, and then it sends the user, and then inside of this, it does... It sends the user testing, and then when you got kicked, and then the development. So, it sends them a DM saying why they got kicked. Is basically, and then it sends an auto log to the actions that you have predefined with the actions channel ID. Simple as that. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to join the server back. And then I am a human. Okay, I'm in the server. And then as you see, the welcome still works. So I'm just going to put something in here. Anything. And this prepares us for our next step. that prepares us for our next step, okay? So we're going to go back to our Visual Studio code. We're going to copy this kick command into the ban command. We're going to call it ban. Ban. We're going to call this ban a user. User to ban. Reason to ban. Then we're going to get the things. And then we're going to do... Not permitted to ban, banned, banned. This is optional, but you can leave a. You can, so for a ban, you could leave a appeals server right here. And then you could have the link, whatever. Uh, gg slash appeals but for this example I'm not gonna do that we're just gonna do this so when a user is banned it's literally the same thing as all and then for the message that goes to the auto logs what we want to do is add a notes section then we want to say deleted all messages by user in past 24 hours and now that sets that now what we need to do is now scroll down and then after we send the subject their embed we're gonna do this we're going to do subject.ban, we're going to open it up, open it up, then we're going to hit enter. You're going to do delete message seconds, then we're going to do a colon, 86, 400, comma, and then we're going to do reason, reason. So, now that that's like that, we're just going to close it back up. So what this does is 
86,400 seconds is 24 hours. So any message sent in the past 24 hours will be banned, will be deleted. Now what we need to do is just save this and then copy it to our unban command. And then we need to name it unban and then unban. Then user to unban. User to unban. 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 Get rid of the notes. Then we could do unban. Then unban. So now that it's like this, what we need to do is just rework this a little bit is that we're going to do a so we're going to get rid of that get rid of the subject drop in go above the await but then we're going to do await guild dot members dot unban then we're going to do subject to so subject to comes from the fact that we need to do this a bit differently. So we need to do const subject to equals interaction dot options dot get user and then we just need to open it up and then do user and end it. Now that's subject to. Now, now once you unban them, we're going to do. So it won't send them a message unless they're back in the server, obviously. So that's so that does all of the banning and unbanning. So if I restart the bot, you will see that if I minimize this, minimize this, then minimize this. If I show you how this works for a second, if I remove my director's role and then try to do ban guild code with the reason of not permitted, you will see that I'm not permitted. Then if I give guild code the roles of director, then if then even if I'm a director, if I do you if I do ban guild code reason director, you are not permitted to ban this user. So that's just saying the allowed roles are not allowed roles. You can change it to how you like and so whatnot. But I'm just going to do this and then give them member. So if I do slash ban guild code, then tutorial is the reason. You will see that it bans them. Simple as that. It bans them, sends a DM to them. Simple as that. Now if they try, and then you'll see if you go to your server settings, audit log, you'll see that it was banned. And then if you go to your bands, you'll see them in there. Now you could revoke the band that way, or you could use the slash unban, and then and then guild code. So this may happen to you. So what I need to do is go get the user ID, which I don't have because my settings are not enabled. So if I go to advanced dev mode, turn it on. Okay, so now if I get my user ID, then paste it in there with the reason of tutorial. And then wait to show you something. If I join a server, put the invite code you'll see that it says unable to accept invite but if I unban the user it should unban them but it gave me an error of roles so unban 28 
44. Okay, so this is actually the reason. This was actually something I was running into. So this is where we just need to do... Um, just this again. So just copy this and then paste that. Save it. And then you should be good to go. So we're going to restart the bot. Then we're going to do unban. Put the user ID. Unban tutorial. Hit enter. Now what? Undefined of cash 2850. 28. Okay. So we need to do a. If you have the role, just do it. Just do it. Burn down. I need to get rid of that. And then now, if you save it, if we restart the bot. So and then if I do unban, then you'll see that all the messages in here are gone. Then if we do test, ing, toot, and then do enter, guild code has been unbanned. You'll see member unbanned, and if you look in your audit logs, you'll see that remove the ban, and if you look in bans, that there's no bans. Then if I try to join the server again, and then do all the captures, you'll see that it lets me join the server. Perfectly fine. So that concludes the tutorials of how to do moderation commands with the ban, kick, mute, timeout, unban, and unmute commands. Now that's just the setup. If you don't, if you wish not to do it yourself, then by all means, feel free to join the Guild Code server. In this server, we have a template bot, which is the template that we um, write this out on. If not, then we have our pricing, which we will offer to build you a bot for some fees. So one of the features that we do is counting YouTube notification systems, audit logs, ticket bots, and fun games like counting currencies and all that stuff. If you feel like joining, then feel free. If not, then have a great day and holidays.